Now that we've put the instructions on the page, it's a good idea to add um, some images that will help to give a visual information to our students and tune them into our inquiry. So I've um, bookmarked a site here called Morgue File, which is a great collection of photographs that we can um, often freely use, copyright free, in the, in the work that we're doing in the spaces that we're creating. So if I wanted to do a, a free photo search, I would just click in here and I think I might um, look for some apples, a picture of some apples that we could use on our page. And this is the return that we have here. So that's a great picture of an apple. I'll just click on that one. And morgue file gives us the information that we need around copyright down the bottom. So if I scroll down here, this is the area that I need to be um, concerned about. And it's saying that we are free to use this. We're free to uh, copy, distribute and transmit the work and no attribution is required. The only um, things that is prohibited is for us to make money out of it. That's what this part here is about, that we're prohibited from using the work in a standalone manner. If we needed to read some more about that, there's the license summary there. But I know that we're allowed to use that one, so I'm going to uh, click on the download button and download that photograph to my desktop. And now if I go back to my Ultranet page, I just need to add an application. So again, in the Actions menu, Add Application. Um, again, I need a publication display. So the same tool that I used for this text box, I'm going to use to add an image. And I'm just going to drop it underneath there and remove the Applications menu, scroll down the page a bit and click on the Add Application button. So publication displays are a very useful application because they allow us to not only add text to our pages but also um, add things like tables, um, links if we wanted to um, have a collection of links and in this case an image. Okay so we have our publication display I'm just going to give that um, a title and I'll call it Apple Image and then scroll down a little bit and use the toolbar to center the image and I need to use the content button here with the one with the little landscape picture there to add the image to my content within Ultranet. Okay, so when the window opens up, I just need to wait um, for that to load and then click on the Upload Images um, file, Add Files, choose the red apple open, give that a tag, so the obvious tag is Apple, and then click the upload button. And then it asks me to indicate um, whether the image that I have contravenes privacy. And in this case, there are no personal, there's no personal information in that picture. I do have copyright permission and it comes from the site um, morguefile.com. So I'll just write that in there. So that I've acknowledged the source, click on the continue button and my photograph will upload now. A good feature of this is it allows you to multiple upload photographs. So if you knew you were using many photographs for a website, you could upload more than one and apply common tags to those pictures as well. So I'm just waiting for that item to be uploaded now. And soon I'll have an OK button over here for me to continue. OK. Click on the Apple picture and choose Select. And my Apple appears in the page. Now that's a fairly large Apple, so I'm going to resize that with the handles and make that a much smaller um, picture. We don't need a, a very big one. I may even make it even smaller. Bring that down. I'm happy with that one. So now I'm going to save and approve. Okay, and there's my image of an apple. And I may change the text box here to say something like apples are a great 
smack. Okay, now I've got my image on the page. This over this side allows the students to put their comments in, so we're leaving this space here free for the comments that our students make. Each will appear one under the other with the most recent comment at the top. So I think that page is, is done now. Okay, so this space is now essentially ready for me to invite my students and to get them to begin answering the question that we have up here around what healthy foods are in their lunchbox. Now, earlier I was looking on the internet for an interactive activity that I might be able to use that would reinforce the idea of healthy foods and the importance of having healthy foods in the lunchbox. And earlier found this website. It's called Go For Your Life, the interactive lunchbox, and it allows students to choose from a variety of foods to put in their lunchbox, from drinks to snacks to mains, and it then evaluates um, the quality of the lunchbox that they've got. So I would like my students to be able to use this website while they are using the Ultranet space to talk about their lunch and to reinforce some of those good understandings around healthy food. So I'm going to double, uh, triple click up, up here to highlight the URL and I'll copy that URL, go back to um, my Ultranet space and I'm going to add another page to my space. So I'll just use that little plus up there to click and I'll call this um, page lunchbox because this is where I will be putting that that lunchbox activity. So when the students come to the space they will have the ability to answer the question but they will also have an interactive activity to participate in. Right, now that that page has been created, I'll just click on the page and we have a blank page for us to put in the website. So if I go down to the Add Applications menu and up to Add Applications, I'm just going to choose an iframe because an iframe allows us to add websites and bring them into our spaces. So if I close off the Applications menu, now I would like the iframe to take the whole space that's available on this page. So I need to change the layout. So going back to the um, applications menu and up to change layout, I'm going to choose the one column layout and click save. And this should make our iframe now take the entire width of the page. To configure the iframe, I need to click on this button here on these words. And I've got that URL from the website in my computer's memory, so I'll just paste it there. And now I'm almost ready for that website to appear. Now just looking at down here in the advanced section, it tells us that the height available, the height is from the top up here, where it says iframe down to near the save button, the height of this application can be 600 pixels, but at the moment it's only 300, which is just about this size. And that would not give the students enough space to do the activity. So if I click next to that 3, and I'll just delete the 3 and make that a 6, I'm now making that um, iframe bigger so that we can get the most out of our website. So I'll click on the Save button, and our website should appear. Okay, we've successfully updated the setup. So when I go to return full page, we should see our space appear and the music for that website should start to come through. Here it is now. features of this website is it allows us to go down to the bottom and turn the sound off. So I'll just click on the sound. And the sound has been turned off. So our website is now complete.